Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to learn the great Beatles song, the rock and roll blues classic, Day Tripper. There's an iconic bass riff by Paul McCartney, which you have to learn and get your bass out, get your pens, papers out if you want to make a note of the the tabs or the notation or you have it all covered, you can just download a copy and get yourself the tabs and the notation on Patreon to help supplement the learning. So I'm going to walk you through the entire phrasing of the of Day Tripper, which is the verse, first of all, just the riff. Then it goes through a kind of a bluesy progression, almost like a 12-bar blues. But then there are two segments or two sections to the song. So there's the E and A chord bit and then there's it goes into the turnaround or the chorus you could say where he sings Day Tripper. Okay, so let's get cracking with the main riff then. It's on the E seventh chord. So that goes Okay, let me break that down for you. Open E E G, G sharp, 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2. So it's a dotted crotchet there on E. It lasts one and a half counts. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Let's only do that together. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And then it continues. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Wait, 2 and 3 and 4 and... That's the loop. Let's do it very slowly. 1 and 2. The notes again. E, G, G sharp, B, E, D. B, F sharp, B, D, E, E. So that's open E. E, G, G sharp, B, E, D. B, fretted B on the second fret of the A string. B, F sharp. It's fifth. F sharp, B, D, E. Open D, E. E. That's the riff right there. But there's more. So get acquainted with this. Okay, break that down again. One and two and three and four and... While all this is happening, there's an E7th chord lingering. So this all goes with that E7th. Loop very slow. Now this, luckily for us bass players, goes with the verse where we sing Got a good reason Taking the easy way out I have no idea how Paul McCartney is able to sing it and play the bass guitar at the same time. It's incredible. I will just try in this lesson. So stick around. Let's try it. So you don't have to do it with singing. That's quite tricky. But if you can, nothing like it. Got a good reason. Ba -bum -bum -ba. Taking the easy way out. Now, we change the riff to A. You can go open A and pretty much repeat the pattern. So the same shape. the opens what you did for E you started on the open E now you do it on the open A and this will serve well over the A 7th chord Got a good reason. only once when I say only once I mean two bars of music which is over that A 7th chord so got a good reason is over E seventh and then you repeat at taking the easy way out the E riff taking the easy way out now you do it on A Got a good reason. copy the intervals come back to taking the easy way out or back to low E taking the easy way out now the she's a now coming to the she's a day tripper part 
you'll be playing F sharp dominant seventh chord. So the riff is very simple. It's four F sharps where you just have to play. What I like to do is add a couple of variations which I'll show you. So first off, the actual bass line, F sharp, it's third, it's fifth. So it's F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, which is its fifth. The dominant note, dominant seventh, which is E. D sharp, F sharp. So that's the whole li lick. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, into four. Okay, I'll teach you that later. Now, a small variation I do there. So I, I, I do the second bar with an off F sharp. Off. Okay, that's the F sharp part. So, so far we've learned. Got a good reason Taking the easy way out now Got a good reason On A Taking the easy way out now Now Day tripper F sharp Four times Fourth time And now we do the A. Bum, ba, da, di, da, da. That, this shape right here. So I'm playing A with my uh, E string, fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five. And I go. Da, 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 di, da, da. That's one, three, five, seven flat, six, octave. Now you could even do that with opens. A, C sharp, E, G, open, F sharp, A. You could also do it with all fretting. Na, 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 na. Nice shape right here. Dum, bum, bum, ba, da, da. Start with a pinky on A, A ring on C sharp, index on E, G, pinky, F sharp, ring, octave, index. Bum, 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 dum, dum. De, do, do, de, do. So it took me so now you drop your whole hand down a fret. So if you like patterns, you can do It took me so long Okay, just the A7 sliding down to A flat 7. Or you could do it with opens, then your hand is just in one place. From the F sharp day trip apart, four times of that. Na, 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 na. It took me so long to find out. To find out now, that'll be D flat. I find out B, which is the dominant, taking me back to the E. So C sharp, very easy uh, bass guitar part. Bam, bam. Ba, ba, ba. That's root third, fifth octave, starting with D flat. And you copy paste the shape to B. So D flat, ma, da, na, na, B, da, da, na, na, back. Da, de, do, do. Okay. B, E. Okay, so let me walk you through the entire riff. Trying as best as I can to do the the words. Got a good okay. First of all, the riff without anything. Now got a good reason. Taking the easy way out. Now. Got a good reason. Back. 
great ripper and there's just one more section and then you pretty much play the same uh, lick which you used to play the same intervals but starting on b so that's root ba 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 be ba ra re ra and then come down to the seventh da 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 dum ba re re ra ra re ra 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 which is that ah the vocal part ba re re ra ra re ra 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 bum ba re re ra ra re ra 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 okay and then it pretty much comes back to so the notation is available on our patreon get yourselves a copy it'll also have the tab superimposed with the uh, staff notation in the bass clef of course it'll also have the chords and so on uh, so all the best with learning day tripper it's a great song an incredible riff quite challenging also so all the best with that and hope you found the lesson useful guys if you did do consider giving the video a like a thumbs up which you see there give us a comment with something you'd like to learn next and don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell cheers and catch you in the next one